So in previous videos, I already quickly introduced you to work with input stream, output stream, the units of working, or each time you read and write um, data, you're going to work with uh, bytes. And if you're using data input stream, data output stream, they're going to use this input output stream anyway, but uh, you're going to be able to work with primitive data types. Let's say if you want to write an integer, okay, this data um, 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 output stream will help you to convert that integer into four bytes and it's going to use this output stream to write this four byte down or if you want to read a, a, a double let's say if you want to read a double uh, this uh, data um, input stream is going to add this input stream to read eight bytes because it's double after reading that eight bytes uh, this data input stream is going to convert it into a double uh, numbers for you so that one is the meaning of why should you use the primitive data type. And in, 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 in uh, lots of other cases, um, your units of working, your units of working is characters in general. Characters, okay? Uh, characters in general, okay? Is characters in general. And, and um, in this case, you should use reader and writer, okay? Reader class is a class uh, from which you can read characters, okay? You can read characters from some um, uh, characters okay you can read some characters from um, some input stream okay and a um, writer is uh, you can read uh, uh, you can write characters from some output stream okay just like the picture from here just like from picture from here let's say we're going to um, 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 uh, we're going to implement this one. So if you have a Java application here, okay, then um, you have a um, then you have a file here. Okay, you have a file here. Then you can open. You can have an input stream over here. Okay, input stream. Input stream. Okay, well, let me just write this. Yeah, okay, input stream over here. And this input stream is going to provide you the base for you to um, provide the base for you to um, 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 read every one byte. And right now we would like to, right now you would like to change this one with another stream, which is a, a, a reader. Okay, and this reader is going to uh, make use of this input stream anyway. Okay, and actually, you know, it will help you to let's say if you um, read, it will help you to read characters. So, so uh, sequence of bytes over here is going to be read using this input stream. Okay, sequence of bytes is going to read input stream, and passing this one is going to be converted into characters for you. Converted into characters. Okay, and you'll be able to read characters. Very similarly, if you have a characters and you would like to write. You know, you write the right. You're going to use the writer. You're going to use the writer class, and this writer is going to um, write out to a file. Okay, this writer is going to write out to a file. So this character C is going to be um, converted into bytes, sequence of bytes, and um, this output stream. Sorry, this output stream is going to write them to the files for you. So that one is the idea. This one is called chainings as well. And the purpose of using the writer and the reader is you're going to work with characters or array of characters or string. Okay, or string. Because string is an array of characters too. Okay. So I'm going to use Java in order to demonstrate about this one. So we're going to use this one is um, 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 a reader, writer, Demo. Let me just, just demonstrate one of them, and, and you will see the um, um, you will see the others. So we're going to use this one is um, a reader demo, reader class demo. Okay, reader class demo. So we're going to have inside our system. I'm going to create a reader class. I'm going to create a new file. This one is called others, and this one is called I'm going to create empty file next this one we're going to create which is uh, my file.txt finish and this my file.txt I'm going to have a b and c okay three characters and right now we would like to read them uh, as characters so now um, we're going to create um, before that we need to have um, um, uh, input stream anyway input stream because it's the chainings here 
You want to read, you need, you want to um, have a reader, you need to have an input stream anyway. Okay, so input stream is equal to new far input stream because we are reading from a far. One far, that far is my far.txt. Okay, and we're going to add the import statement, we're going to um, surround statement with try catch. Then from here, um, the input stream is helping us to read bytes. Okay, this one is helping us to read bytes. Okay. And you would like this byte that reading to be converted into characters inside our system. So we're going to use the reader class, reader equal to new reader class. Okay, equal to new reader class. Um, 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 uh, we're going to read from new input stream reader. Okay, new input stream reader. We're going to use the um, implementation of that reader. Okay, because reader is only an abstract class. New input stream reader. We're going to read from an input stream. Okay, I s. Okay, we're going to add the import for that reader, and we're going to um, display the first character is. Okay, we're going to use r dot read, and this one when you read, it's going to get you an integer, but that integer is a character. Okay, is a character. So if you run this one, it's going to um, let's just cancel this one. I need to add the catch cloud for IO because I may not have the right to read. Okay, uh, this one. So the first character is I. Okay. Now let's just let's just um, say. So what's the difference if I use this IS dot read? It's gonna give me A as well. Okay. It is it is A as well. So what's the difference now? Okay. Let's just show the difference. If you use some characters we need two bytes to represent let's say a Vietnamese characters which is this one okay this one is an unicode characters it is going to be represented in form of two bytes okay in form of two bytes then if you are if you are reading it using is stream input stream only normal input stream and this read method is going to read only one byte and if you cast it into characters you will see you will see the result is different what you have here is this letter, okay? And what you have here is this different letter. Why? Because, you know, this one is represented in two bytes. And this method read only one byte. That's why it is converted into some new string thing, not the original one. But if you use reader, if you use reader, this one special um, uh, class helping us to work with such kind of characters. So if you read this term and if you have this special characters, okay, let me make sure that I save this. And if you run this one, if you run this one, you see you get the right result. You get the right result. So this one is what it means about the reader class and the writer class. I'm sorry, I just forgot to um, uh, close this. Um, R dot close and also um, is dot close as well. We should um, remember to close it. And very similar, you can make use of, you can get the idea of using the writer class, okay, using the writer class. And, and especially, you can use this reader uh, uh, to um, uh, read an array of characters as well, okay, array of characters. Or you can use the writer classes, okay, H. That one is what it means about the readers. Anyway, again, if you use reader and writer, you are working with characters. Okay, you are using readers and writer class. You work with characters, and and you know, you're using its own um, its its implementation. Let's say um, the um, um, input stream reader, reader and output stream reader. Talking of reader, you do have different um, ways of using um, reader, which is a file reader. Okay, file readers. File reader is one special implementation of a reader class. Okay, of a reader class. This one, file readers, is a special implementation of the reader class. Okay, it's actually file reader is um, an extension of input stream reader, and input stream reader is actually an extension of the um, reader class. And of course, this one is gonna be a, a faster ways of. Uh, um, creating a reader because this one is you are creating reader via an input stream in general and this input stream specifically a fire input stream okay so the fire reader is also the faster creation of a reader for you to read the um, uh, uh, 
uh, read uh, characters from uh, this one is to read characters from uh, read characters from um, a far similar you're going to have uh, you're going to have uh, a far writer okay okay it, it's similar you know, you know it, it's far output stream um, uh, um, 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 upstream writer okay it's an implemented special Im implementation of upstream writer or it is a one types of writer okay this is like what we did from here okay you can test this one by yourself it's going to be read and write data in forms of characters from and to files okay okay and um, we already know that you can read the data in forms of bytes you can read write data in form of primitive data type. You can read and write data in forms of characters. Um, in next lecture, you can um, even go one step really further, which is you can read and write data in form of objects. Okay, not just not just bytes. Okay, not just primitive data types. Not just characters. You can read and write objects. Okay, this one is saying um, 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 next lectures.